Uh, hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Let's Play City of Heroes. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to go over uh, Blaster Primaries. Alright, so let's get started. Going to go Blaster, doesn't matter what origin you go with. And okay, uh, just going to note a couple of things that are similar to all Blaster sets. Uh, things like having an aim power, which is an, a power that boosts your accuracy, that makes it so you hit enemies more often. And uh, having a snipe power, which is a power that you charge up from a long distance away so you can hit your foes. And pretty much all, usually all blast sets have some form of this type of power. Sometimes it's called something like for every snipe power it's called something different, but for the aim power it's a lot of the times it's called aim, sometimes it's called something like amplify. For sonic attack it's called amplify. But in any case, uh, we're gonna go to archery. Archery is a very uh, lackluster set, it's got the aim, and it's got, oh and I also forgot to say, every Every blast set has a tier 9, tier 9 standing for the ninth power in the set, which is its most powerful. It is always an AoE power that sometimes will drain you of all your endurance. Endurance being like your mana bar, the thing that uh, you consume when you're using your powers. Uh, so Reign of Arrows, fantastic power. It's, it's pretty much the, like the only good power in archery, I would say, or the, the only power that sets it apart from the rest of the uh, blaster sets. Uh, it's got a typical aim, but uh, the only the, uh, the thing that makes archery just kind of uh, not as desirable as a blasting set is that it does a lot of lethal damage. Lethal damage is just a, a really resisted set in the City of, uh, City of Heroes universe, so you'll do less damage with most of your attacks. Uh, next we got assault rifle. Assault rifle being really, really similar to archery. It's got your snipe attack, sniper rifle, of course. Uh, fully automatic is like it's just a lackluster form of rain of arrows, in my opinion. I mean, I've never played a, an assault rifle before, but they're definitely one of the least played, I'd say, blaster blaster primaries in the game. And it's kind of too bad. I wish, like. I wish they'd make Assault Rifle a little bit better. It also does a lot of lethal damage, and not too much else to say. Um, it does not have an aim power either, if that's interesting. Uh, moving on, we got Dual Pistols. Dual Pistols is the newest uh, Blaster Primary set to come to City of Heroes. Uh, it's got the Tier 9 Hail of Bullets, which is pretty similar to Assault Rifles. Uh, fully full auto, except hail bullets. Uh, I'd say is better. It just does more damage, and it also has instead of instead of having aim, dual pistols has swap ammo. Swap ammo is uh, something they just implemented. Basically, you can choose different types of an ammunition that will do different secondary do different secondary effects when you shoot people with your bullets, and I find that super interesting. Them adding powers within a power to the set. Uh, it's, this set's got really good AoE, got a pretty decent single target, it's got really beautiful animations, probably the best looking animations in all the blaster primaries because uh, it, it just came out just a couple months ago since posting this video. Uh, moving on we got Electrical Blast. Electrical, electrical Blast is uh, bread and butter, bread and butter blasting set. It's got uh, the snipe, which in the form of zap, it's got aim, it's got thunder splats. Thunder splats is its tier nine, does lots of uh, energy damage, and uh, it'll you'll it'll drain your drain yourself of all of your end, but uh, it'll pretty much wipe out any group of enemies, any any singular group of enemies that you want. Uh, it's got decent AOE, pretty decent single target. The great thing about uh, electrical blast is. It has a lot of uh, minus end, so whenever you hit f uh, foes with uh, your electrical powers, it'll suck their end, and it'll make it so, since they have less end, they won't be able to attack you as much, which is really cool. And uh, it makes Elec and a really interesting 
uh, power set also has Voltaic Sentinel, which is the only blaster primary that has a pet power that that uh, attacks nearby enemies. Uh, energy. Moving on to Energy Blast. Energy Blast is uh, also really bread and buttery snipe snipe set or a snipe power aim power. Uh, your basic tier nine called Nova. You just you put yourself in the middle of a mob. You use Nova. The mob will pretty much die. Um, the only problem I find with energy uh, with energy blast is that it does a lot, and I mean a lot of, of knockback. And this knockback is counter uh, counterproductive to teams killing things because you want to keep things grouped up so that you can. Uh, kill them all at once, and having an energy blaster around just doesn't contribute contribute to that very well. Other than that, energy blast is great though. Fire blast, one of the most popular blaster primaries in the game, definitely. Uh, fire does by far the most damage. It has almost almost all of its powers are pretty decent to use. It's got aim, of course, it's got sniper power, it's got the typical tier 9, you, you walk in, you use Inferno, things die. Uh, it's got fireball, fireball is like one of the best AoE, one of the most, the best and the most popular AoE attack in the game. And uh, other than that, just fire blast is great, especially if you want a PvP. PV, uh, fire, blast, fire blasting is flavor of the month for PvP almost all the time. Uh, ice blast, ice blast is great in in that it has good great single targets it has slows you, even though slows don't do that much in sea of heroes anymore but it, it's still a it's still cool uh, it's tier 9 is blizzard and uh, blizzard is a tier 9 that you put over a mob that does it that does a lot of dot DOT being damage over time. Damage over time, it'll, so it'll wind up doing more damage in the end than say uh, Inferno and Fire Blast, but uh, your, the enemy is un, under the blizzard will tend to try to run away, and that's... It, you, sometimes, sometimes you have a hard time keeping them within the area of your blizzard so they die. Uh, Ice Blast doesn't have a snipe power, but it has a hold power, which I consider a lot more useful has ac actually has two hold powers, but the second hold power isn't as good as the first hold power. A hold is just something that you use against your enemy, and it'll make it so the enemy can't attack you for a certain amount of time. Uh, I'll go into more detail about uh, mesmerizations is what they're called in this game, but like I said, that's that's for a different video. Uh, moving on to Psychic Blast. Psychic is awesome because for two for two reasons. One, all of its powers do minus recharge. It makes it so whenever you hit somebody with it, their powers come back less and less often the more times you hit them with it. And it'll make it so they'll be able to use their powers less against you. The other thing about Psychic is uh, its, its attacks do psionic, psionic damage and it's the one of the least resisted types in the game and psychic is pretty awesome typical tier 9 uh, will it's got a psychic focus as its aim power and uh, it's got sonic lance of course as its snipe power what we got we got radiation blast radiation blast is great it's got decent aoe pretty good single targets uh, it does energy damage which is a uh, Pretty interesting. So it does the same type of uh, damage as Energy Blast, actually, but uh, it's got um, typical snipe, typical aim power, uh, pretty typical tier nine as well. The only thing special, really, about Energy Blast is that is that, or sorry, Radiation Blast is that all of its attacks do minus defense. When I say minus defense, I mean whenever you hit somebody with a radiation blast. It'll make it so every subsequent time you're trying to attack them, you'll hit them more and more often. So that's what makes that's what makes radiation blast really cool. I've got a, radi a radiation blast as my def in my defender, so it's in the secondary, but it's still a really cool uh, blaster primary as well. Uh, last but not least, we have uh, sonic attack. Sonic attack is 
great in that it does energy damage like Radiation Blast. However, instead of lowering defense like Radiation Blast, Sonic attacks lower resistance. Now, resistance in this game it differs from defense in that instead of look instead of being able to hit your target more often, it's whenever you hit your target every time after you hit your target with a sonic attack, you'll do more and more damage because it will lower re their resistances. And it makes sonic attack brutal. Sonic attack has kind of lackluster AoE, really good single target. Uh, typical tier nine. I don't think it, I don't think it has a yeah, it has an aim power, which is amplified, but doesn't have a uh, snipe power. Um, I like Sonic a lot, but in any case, this is El Preed, and this is a wrap-up of Blaster Primaries. In my next video, I'll probably go through Blaster Secondaries. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.